Hello, I'm Professor Rupert Till of the University of Huddersfield, also known as Professor Chill uh, to my friends. And um, I've been doing some research into ancient flutes made by prehistoric people and found in caves from uh, up to 42,000 years ago. Um, and these are found about the same time that cave paintings start being invented. So I thought I'd show you how you could make a simple kind of flute-like instrument. Actually, it's a bit more like an oboe. Anyway, um, at home, using very simple things you might find around the house. So you will need a straw. This one, normal drinking straw. This is a paper one. A uh, plastic one's probably actually work slightly better, but are less good for the environment, so paper's good. A pair of scissors. This is just an ordinary pair of scissors. And I've got a knife here. Um, so uh, be, be careful with sharp objects if children are not. So we take our straw and the first thing we need to do is flatten the end of it. Now you can put it down on the table and flatten it, but I mean you can just, the paper ones, you can just squeeze the end of it. So I'm just squeezing the end of it so that instead of being round like that, it starts to look flat. I want it to be really pressed flat at the end. And I'm going to sort of adjust it so that it gets slowly less flat. So maybe for yeah, a couple of centimetres an inch, it's going to flatten out until it's really flat at the end. So you can probably see like that. It starts round and then gets flatter. And at the end, it's really flat. OK, very simple. Then take your scissors, take your straw, and we're going to cut it into a point. So the longer it is, the lower the note seems to make, or it seems to make a, a bit of a better sound, but it can be quite short, but you just sort of cut it one side, like that. Then I'm going to turn it round, 180 degrees or halfway round, and cut it again until we have a point. So you can then see, hopefully, that that's kind of a point and the two bits are, there's a gap in between the two. And, and actually, that's kind of it. If you blow harder, it goes up. If you blow slower, it goes down. Softer, it changes sound. You need to put it so that where it's split goes past your lips, so that your lips are past the bit where it, it's cut. Um, sometimes you need to put your, your lips actually on that, but usually you put them past it. And put, uh, wrap your lips around your teeth, like that. So tuck your lips in. Don't, um, don't try and blow up like that. Do that so your lips are tucked away inside your mouth. Oh, your teeth. So your teeth are on top of your lips and blow. <laughs> And there you have a simple drinking store flute.